So I'm fairly new to the modern Pokemon game, but I have learned over the past few months as I've been opening packs what sets I tend to gravitate towards. Obviously Brilliant Stars has been very kind to me and I've actually pulled a pretty solid card from Darkness Ablaze. But one set that keeps drawing me back in just because of the allure is Shining Fates. The unfortunate part is the fact that you can't buy booster packs of Shining Fates. You can only get Elite Trainer Boxes and other various media. I've only found Elite Trainer Boxes. Why am I telling you all this? Well, I may have a problem. I, I got another one. Yes, that is right. I got another Shining Fates Elite Trader box. It is uh, not my first, definitely. I've opened a few of these, actually. I've got currently two Elite Trader boxes sitting here, but this is my third one, and this is the only one I'm going to be opening up completely solo, uh, not as part of a pack duel. Why am I doing this? I just feel like it, honestly. And I like the Shining Fates set. I think they're really cool, and I like the allure of being able to get shiny Pokemon. Before we get started with the opening, here is a code card for the box if you want it. It's right there. All right, so let's go ahead and get to our first pack and see what we got. Here's the code card for the pack. our energy is that. That's not important. Okay, we have a Rotom, Eldegoss, Tropius. I'm going to try to get through these fairly quickly because you've seen all these arts before because I've opened a few Shining Fates things. So let's see if we can get anything good in some of these packs. I'm hoping so. All right, our first thing we have is a Rusted Sword, Reverse Hollow, and a Volcanion as the rare. So nothing, nothing great for the first pack, but maybe it's the first pack. Can't expect there to be something great in every pack, so. Code card number two. I'm gonna guess Electric Energy. All right, we got Eldegoss, Tropius, All Guy, Rowlet, another Choodle, more Peko, Coughing, Gossip Floor, and we have a shiny Corviknight. Solid first. Shiny pull, that's a good one. And what we get behind it, a Yen Mega. So, so far we have pulled a shiny Pokemon, a shiny Corviknight. It's cool because in the actual game, it got a shiny Corviknight. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad I, uh, I have the card counterpart to my actual Corviknight. There is a code card for pack number three. Dark energy. What do we got? Cramorant. A Thwacky. Rusted Sword. A Nicket. A Horsey. A Snom. More Peko. Cacnea. Alright, we got a Reverse Hollow Yen Mega. And a Hollow Rillaboom. I've actually already got the Hollow Rillaboom from this set, so that's a double for me. I do not have the Omega Reverse Hollow though, so that's pretty nice. I've actually started uh, keeping track of what Reverse Hollows I have since I've, I've gotten a fair amount of them now. I'm trying to make sure I you know, keep one of each as a steel energy. All right, Team Yell Towel, the Wacky, Tropius, a Yenma, Goffer. More Paco. Horsey. Spinnerack. Reverse Hollow Shinx. And another Yen Mega. Alright. 
that's three Onegas I've pulled, I think in a row, because I had two non-hollows and then a reverse hollow Yen Mega. So I've gotten a lot of Yen Megas so far today. Here's the code card. Let's see what we got. Water energy this time. I think we got something at the end, but we'll find out. Bloat Soul, Rested Sword, Luxio, Yenma, Morpeko, Shootle, Eevee, Horsey. Oh, we got a shiny Clobopus and a Cramorant VMAX, which I actually have the Cramorant VMAX already. But hey, another shiny, shiny Clobopus. Not too bad. Uh, we still got five packs. We're halfway through. We pulled two shinies and we pulled a VMAX so far and a hollow. So not too bad, not too bad. Here's a code card for you. Okay, gym trainer. Female towel. Colossal. More Peko. Gossip Floor. Cacnea. Shootle. I think we got something to get. Oh! We got an Eevee and we have a full art shiny Senta Scorch going into a Manaphy. Oh, I forgot to take off the energy, which is fire energy. But hey, a full art shiny Senta Scorch. Not bad. Obviously, it would have been nicer to get the Charizard, but I will take a shiny Senta Scorch V any day because I do not have one. Here is a code card. It seems like you only get one shiny full art per trainer box, but maybe we'll have a, a better box than that. There's a Thwacky. Oh, I forgot to pull up the energy. Steel energy. Rusted sword, or shield. Dartrix. Trapinch. Nicket. Gussiflor. Cacnea. Hufant. We have a reverse hollow Cacnea going into a shiny Frost Moth, or not shiny, but a hollow Frost Moth, which I don't believe I have actually. I will take that. Always nice to get a hollow. We're down to our last three packs of Shining Fates. Hope you all are enjoying these as much as we're doing them. We're still planning to do a pretty epic pack duel for the 1000 celebration. That will be coming up some point, don't know specifically when, but of course we will give you all the details as soon as we know. Dartrix, Eldegoss, Luxio, Spinarak, Ashinx, Horsey, Yenma, Coughing. Ooh, another shiny. We got a shiny Morgrim going into a Celebi, so. We've actually done pretty well. I think we've pulled three regular shinies and a full art shiny. Not a whole lot of ultra rare pulls so far. I think we've gotten one VMAX at the end, but the uh, the shiny pulls have not been disappointing on this box. So that's nice. There's the fire energy. So yeah, I think the main reason why I enjoy looking at this set is obviously the shinies are really cool. I like the artwork for a lot of these. And of course, just the allure of the fact that there's so many shinies. And it's it's definitely something if you're a completionist that you can keep going for. I'm not a completionist, so I, I don't expect to finish this set, but I will take as many shinies as I can get. Here's an Indeedee Reverse and a Vulk Canyon. Uh, multiples of those. All right, our last pack is this Charizard artwork. Let's see what we got. And then I'm gonna go through like we usually do and take a look at values of all of our top hits so you know exactly how much money they are worth. Not that that is the only important thing, but it's always good to know, especially when you're opening a box like this. 
There's a Cramorant horsey. A lot of these you've seen many times today already. I have just tons and tons of extra bulk for uh, Shining Fates at this point, considering how many trainer boxes have opened. We got a Reverse Tropius going into Zerud. Oh, and I forgot the energy again, which is a Psychic Energy. All right, so we're gonna go through all of our rares. And we're gonna see how much each one is worth. All right, so tallied up everything, and honestly, the results were not what you would expect, honestly. So our least valuable card is Corviknight, which is worth $2. Second least is our Cramorant VMAX, that is worth $2.28. And third is the Scentus Scourge V, that's only worth 304. 304. The second most expensive card is Clobopus, which is worth 324. And then the most valuable rare that we pulled was the Morgem Shiny, which is worth $4. So when you add it all up, <clears throat> we had like 10 bucks, which you know, isn't terrible, but more so we got some really nice cards, a bunch of shinies to add to the collection. So that's the important part. It's not necessarily about the value, although obviously the value is nice, but we pulled some nice cards to add to our rare collection. So that is gonna do it for this episode of Unboxing Pokemon Edition. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. New videos on this channel air three days a week, so hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. And I will see you on the next episode of Unboxing Pokemon Edition. Bye-bye. <laughs>